This workout is silent, but a deadly workout. And it's for all of you who cannot uh, um, <coughs> jump around at home and be loud at home because of neighbors or your kids. So, I did a silent workout for you guys. Of course, you're gonna have to hide the timer underneath your pillow or something because the timer is really loud. You know, you also have to be careful when you're dropping down the sandbag. You have to carefully put it down so that you don't make any noise. But overall, there's no jumping, no noise in this workout. So I hope you guys are happy about this one. And uh, I hope you're gonna try it at home and you're gonna try to beat my reps. I was writing my reps down, so I'm gonna share that on our site, what like the TV. And uh, now I just need a little cool down, and then I'm gonna go over each exercise in this workout. I'm gonna show you the proper form, and I'm gonna also give you some easier variations for beginners. <sighs> so the first exercise in this workout is land squat, and I'm using my sandbag. So we're gonna pick up the sandbag, pull it onto your upper back, and we're gonna start with the left leg forward. So take a step across the exercise mat and go down into the lunge position until your thighs parallel to the ground and you're gonna push up and you're gonna go for maximum reps like this. Keep your abs tight, chest up, shoulders down and keep going like this. Now if you're a beginner, then you're gonna use lighter sandbag. My sandbag is 30 pounds heavy, you can fill it up uh, with 5 pounds of sand or 10 pounds of sand, depends on uh, what your fitness level is like, or you can do it with your own body weight. So, for uh, somebody like Rocco Christine, for example, who uh, is just starting from complete beginning, she is going to do the lunges like this with just her own body weight, and she can also hold on to a chair. So if you're a beginner, hold on to a chair or something and do these lung squats with your own body weight. Now let's move on to the second exercise. The second exercise is sandbag squat. So you're going to mount the sandbag on your upper back just like you did for the lunges. And now your feet and knees are pointing slightly outwards. Your feet are about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more apart. And now you're going to be pushing your hips back and try to bring your butt below your knees, all the way down. And you're gonna push up, and you're gonna squeeze your butt, push your hips forward a little bit. So, you need to have your abs tight, back straight, chest up. And you're going again for maximum reps. Now, beginners, you guys, again, lighter sandbag or no sandbag. And, you can put your hands like this, you can put your hands like this, just like you want. You can put your hands like this, and you're gonna be doing the same thing. Now, if you're gonna go all the way down, if you're gonna go all the way down, then you can also do this half squat, and you can stop here in this position. So, but if you're Christine, if you girl cannot go all the way down, you can go here, and then you can push up. You just go as slow as you can, and over time, you're gonna increase the depth of your squat. So just do your best. Just remember the proper form. Now let's move on. There was one more exercise with the sandbag, and it was sandbag weighted crunch. So, you're gonna get down on the exercise mat, and you're gonna put the sandbag onto your feet. Now, lay back and bring your feet up off of the ground so that your knees are in 90 degree angle. Now you're gonna bring your arms above your head. And as you do the crunch, you touch the sides of the sandbag. And now you're gonna exhale and then really squeeze your abs when you exhale. It's really important. It's really hard, but you know, I have 30 pounds on the sandbag, so if you're a beginner or 
if the defense is too heavy for you, you can always uh, take some sand out. You can make it five pounds heavy, ten pounds heavy, as much as you like. Or you can do it without, without the sandbag. That's for beginners as well. So beginners are gonna do this and try to touch your ankles. That's it. So these were all of the exercises with the sandbag that I was doing in today's workout. And now I'm gonna show you all the exercises with the dip station. So, now I'm going to show you one of the best exercises for your abs. This exercise is amazing for your abs. So, you're going to grab the handles and I'm starting here behind the dip station. This is how I do it. I go on my toes and then I lean into it and then I bring my uh, knees up towards my chest. So, this is easier. If you want to do this exercise really hardcore, you can just hang here like this and you won't touch the ground with your feet. I made it easier on myself today. So uh, you can do it like that or you can make it even easier on yourself. You can, uh, for example, you can just do a little knee tuck like this. So for complete beginners, you guys can do just this. At least this, it would be perfect if you could do that. Or you can do like one knee, knee legs. And somehow, like, always keep uh, the other foot close to the ground. <sighs> like this. Basically, if you're a complete beginner, you just, your goal is to try as much as you can. And even if you cannot do the exercise the way I do it, you know, just because you tried, you're already making progress, you're already building your strength, so don't give up. Now, if you don't have the dip station at home, you can substitute this exercise for something else. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's really easy. So, so if you don't have the dip station and you want to do a great exercise for your abs, you're going to be doing these leg raises. So you're going to raise your legs up. Keep your lower back pressing to the ground. Yeah. So. Legs up and now butt up. Little lift with your butt. It's just a tiny little movement, but that tiny little, little movement is really important. So, legs up, butt up. I'm gonna be really working your abs like this. So, let's move on. I'm gonna show you the last exercise. I like to walk with my legs. Anyways. So, last exercise is the reverse push-up. It looks like this. You're gonna grab the handles and you're gonna get into the starting position, which is this one. So that your knees, uh, no, so that your body is in one straight line from your knees to your shoulders, like this. And now, you're gonna pull yourself all the way up and in controlled movement, don't drop down. In controlled movement, you're gonna lower your, yourself down. I have problems talking. <laughs> I'm exhausted already. So, remember, it's always controlled movement. So don't just drop down. Pull, pull yourself up and then lower yourself down. Do as many reps as you can. Now, for those of you guys who are just starting and you don't have the strength to pull yourself up all the, all the way, just try to do a little pulse at least, like this. Because even that little movement counts, it counts. And over time, you're gonna get strong enough to pull yourself all the way up, but you have to start somewhere. Now, if you don't have the dip station, you can be totally crazy, creative, and you can do, try it off of your table because I saw somebody rockers doing it uh, off of their table. They went underneath the table and grabbed the sides of the table and they were pulling themselves up like this. It's possible. However, you have to be careful, careful that you don't hurt yourself. I used to do the reverse push-ups with two chairs 
and a broomstick in between and it worked you know I, I had uh, amazing workouts like this but this is more comfortable of course like it's more safe too so um, but if you if you don't want to try any of these options and you don't have the dip station I'm gonna give you completely a different option so you can use the sandbag and you can be doing this bent over rows. So your back is straight, abs are tight. You're gonna push your hips back, grab the handles, and you're gonna be pulling the sand back up towards your body like this. You can do it with anything. You can do it with dumbbells. You can do it with bottles. Christine, body rocker Christine, if you don't have really anything, you're just starting, you don't have your equipment yet, you can take two bottles of water and you can start like this. That's gonna be your start and you know, over time, either you're gonna get this equipment or you're gonna, you know, somehow substitute it with something else, that's up to you. But make sure that you're starting somewhere. So, I hope you guys gonna enjoy this workout. The workout breakdown and everything that you need to follow this workout is on our site as well so check it out and check out the workout schedule for this week because we're doing every day we're doing workout and uh, I'm doing workouts and you guys are welcome to follow along with me you can try these workouts at home it's all there for you all you have to do is just get up and do them because you know they're short they're super intense they're gonna give you the results that you want and plus we are sharing uh, diet tips and recipes, all kinds of recipes. I just have to tell you that I'm so excited about my new old diet approach. And uh, it's actually incredible relief. <laughs> I noticed that all of you guys were just released. You were like, thanks God you went back to that approach because it's just more of a common sense approach to diet. And um, I cannot even express how excited I am because I'm gonna be sharing so many great recipes with you guys again. It's gonna be like when we left in Malta, it was so much fun, so I'm really looking forward to go back to that. And that's it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao. So there is one more exercise that we do after each workout and it's a burpee for Erin. So here it is. That's it, ciao.